Hello, welcome to this tutorial. I'm your presenter, Morris Dimba. Today, I'm going to be very brief and I'm going to take you through the creation of a plan view of this simple reinforced concrete building. We'll go straight away from this isometric view. We'll go straight to under windows here. Under windows, uh, if, we go, if we go back on our previous tutorial, I told you how to create various view of your model now we created these about two three of them here now to access those views you come to windows on that drop down arrow just click on that drop down arrow then you'll be able to access all these views the first one is from grid 5 second grid a and uh, our default one is isometric which is uh, a 3d at view 3 now this if you click on on, on individual you will be able to see all those views sections uh, that you'll be able to see that then we will switch back to isometric view now from the now from the isometric view we want to create a plan view of these reinforced concrete building it's simple as this we just go to view right here on that view tab then come to switch to 3d or, or plane right there then it will go straight to plan view now from here we'll, it will be easy for us to highlight everything or you can just go straight on your keyboard and press ctrl a be able to select everything let's give it time to pick all the parts of the of the model there we are now we'll go we'll go, we'll go straight to drawings and reports right there now from drawing and reports we'll come to create drawings here we'll come to create drawings here on that drop down arrow you, you, you click on uh, you click on uh, create drawings then run all the way to the ga from ga we will create a plan view the uh, the moment you create you click on uh, a ga view this create general arrangement drawing dialog box will prompt you then from here you, you will have several grids and you can pick any and create your view but for our case we have a specific view which is a plan view but we want to create that at zero zero level and though you can create several plans at various level we have three meters high six meters high 12 meters high but let's pick at plan zero 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 level once you've picked just go straight away and click create click create right there then the moment it finished it get finished you'll you'll see this showing that it has loaded completely by showing it has loaded you'll see now your cursor not in a circle form anymore now having done that just go ahead and close this or cancel that then come to drawing list click on drawing list right there You'll be able to see this you can maximize this I had previously created a similar thing now we'll go straight to open one of these or because all of them are ga but on a plan view type is the general arrangement general arrangement the size of the drawing is that now we want to see one of these drawing containing a GA as a plan view we we'll double click on that once you've double click on that you, you've double clicked on that the drawing will open automatically let's wait for it to open it's loading let it load then we'll see whatever it is inside then we'll be able to manipulate or customize to 
customize it to our preference we'll minimize this right there now the moment you minimize this this is what you'll get this is the plan view of that reinforced concrete model this is the plan view now but it, it doesn't have dimensions but dimensions you can place by yourself though next presentation i'll show you where, how you can generate these with all the dimensions in place but for this case i'll show you how to place the dimensions you just come to dimensioning then pick horizontal if you want to make your dimension on horizontal and pick vertical if you want to make your dimensions vertical as simple as that let me do the let me do for the for the horizontal i'll pick that then i'll snap on that middle point right there i'll snap right there then come all the way to this spot then come all the way to that spot i'll come all the way to that spot i'll move then i'll, I'll wind this here I'll wind that let me wind it there the moment I have clicked to the very end of my length I'll uh, to close or to finish or to wind up the dimensioning command I'll go back to my initial position and click right there click right there I'll right click to exit from that dimension command I'll click on the dimension and drag and drag them up right there. This is my dimensions. There are, these are my dimensions. And if you want to make the vertical dimensions, just the same same process. You snap on that spot, snap on that spot, snap on this spot, snap on that spot. And uh, to wind up your dimensioning command go back to your initial spot and just click on that spot right click to exit from that dimension dimensioning command if you zoom closer you'll be able to see that we've created dimensions are there perfect it is as simple as that and this is a brief demonstration but you, you can as well see how this has been done you can see the rebars on the column are there on the beams rebars you can see the rebars are there but they're placed just one to to indicate that uh, this is how startups are uh, placed but on the plan view is not that important just to help those who want to set out uh, the site for this building to to do their their part by submitting this drawing to them they can prepare the site for this building or for this kind of structure Thanks a lot for watching this video. Have have had only those on the only that brief description or I mean brief demonstration on how to create a plan view from this kind of a structure and uh, how to make or how to place dimensions on uh, a generated drawing. Thanks a lot. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos to come. Thanks and bye-bye. Let's meet then.